Hi guys, I hope your Tuesday is going well. I just wanted to film a quick video today to go over some updates and some common questions that I've been getting from you guys. But first off, let me thank everybody for all of your support with the latest sewing pattern release. If you guys missed it, which I don't know how you have, because you guys have been cranking them out left and right, uh, please meet the zip and grip. So this is the latest sewing pattern that I released last Thursday. And some of you are on your third and fourth zip and grips. So I love seeing all of of your takes on this particular sewing pattern. Here is another version that I made all in quilting cotton if you guys missed it in my introductory video. Um, I also, uh, like with all my patterns, I've done a sewing tutorial on the pattern so you guys can watch along and make yours as well. So I've got these two here with me today because later on we're going to switch over to our overhead camera. One of the most common questions that I've gotten um, in the group is, do the contents in the zip and grip stay in their designated compartments when you close the bag up? And yes, in fact, they do. So I will be showing that to you in a moment. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk about a couple other items. So you guys have been asking me if I am bringing back the rainbow bag challenge for 2023. And yes, I am. I just been overwhelmed with the new strap anchor template release, the new sewing pattern release, um, and all of the retail orders that have been coming in. So I didn't get to uh, announcing that as soon as I want to, wanted to here in January. But yes, we are going to go ahead and start that back up. Um, go ahead and stay tuned to the YouTube channel here, as well as my Facebook group. I will be making an announcement whenever um, I do go ahead and roll out the details on the next round. And I anticipate going and having that done um, later this week. So we will be starting up and we are going to be working with green. So that's the next color in the rainbow. And we're going to continue through to 2023 um, with the rest of the colors of the rainbow. We're probably going to end up doing black, white and pink and maybe gray as well, um, because you guys do seem to really like the rainbow bag challenge if you have not heard of the rainbow Jack bag challenge before my youtube channel does uh, include a video about it i'll leave a link in the description box below all right so the next thing that i wanted to go over is retail orders so i did have a little backlog of retail orders with the new pattern uh, release um, don't worry if you have placed an order um, i will be caught up i anticipate by the end of today and we'll be shipping everything out at the post office later on um, this afternoon so we'll be able to um, get your order out to you right away so thank you so much for all of the orders that have come in um, it's been really fun packing up everybody's orders and getting them out so um there's that. Um, the last item really before we shoot, uh, go over to the overhead camera is that I just wanted to share with you one of my most recent makes and that is this hoodie that I'm wearing right here. So I'm really proud of this particular hoodie. I've never made a hoodie before. Um, and this was made with an Ellie and Mac pattern. So if you have not discovered Ellie and Mac patterns, you are missing out. So they predominantly have uh, stretch knit apparel patterns that are available on their website and they've got tons of them. I think I own probably 30 to 40 of their patterns and I only discovered them about a year ago. So I have a lot of fun with Ellie and Mac patterns and this particular one is the around the block hoodie. It does take a little bit more time to make it because there is a lot of piecing involved, but the end result is very rewarding so I highly recommend this pattern and checking out Ellie and Mac if you haven't done so already. So let's go ahead and switch over to the overhead camera and we will go ahead and take a closer look at the zip and grip in action. Okay let's go ahead and start off with this one. This is made with all vinyl on the exterior and quilting cotton on the inside. So you can see here I've got some larger items so this would essentially be my cosmetic bag. I've got some smaller items in the slip pockets right here. So let's close her up give her a shake and you can see that everything will stay in place. And there you have it. Everything has stayed in place. It all just kind of falls back into place. So you can take a look here. All right, so let's move on to another one. This one is all quilting cotton. And I put sewing supplies in this particular one. So let's close her up and you'll see that everything again falls back into place. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.